What's up guys, Eric from Sonic. We just finished installing the LG VIF CB4, our brand new kit for this 2014 to 2019 Lexus GX and also the 2016 to 2019 Toyota Land Cruiser. And this is going to allow to add the CarPlay and also Android Auto system to your existing factory infotainment system, utilizing the factory touchscreen and the sound system as well. So let me go ahead and show you how everything works. Upon initial observation, everything about the car is gonna be exactly the same. We did end up adding this additional USB port over here and this switch blank that was here before. Um, this does require an additional part from Amazon. If you don't want to use this, then you could use the supplied USB extension cable and you can go ahead and route it to wherever you want. Um, easiest place to route it is just under this panel down here. And then just hook up your Apple cable and then connect it to your phone. But this time we have this, so we are going to connect this to here. All right, let's go ahead and load it up. Okay, so the car is loaded up. Everything is gonna be exactly the same. All your factory controls are going to work the same. Um, you know, everything is, you won't even know this device is installed in here. So how you get into the CarPlay mode, first you wanna make sure your audio is in auxiliary. So if you're not in auxiliary already, say that you're in Bluetooth or whatnot, make sure you have auxiliary selected. That's the port that we use for all the sounds. And once you're in there, go ahead and press the nav button and it'll take you into the CarPlay or Android Auto mode. Um, you know you're in that mode if you see this system ready screen, okay? And then once you connect your phone like that, your phone will go into CarPlay mode and the screen will also show the CarPlay screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lock this phone, put it aside. And once you're into the CarPlay screen, it will work as a normal CarPlay. Um, if you never used it before, the swiping action works to the touch screen and all the other functionality work normally as well. So let me just do a quick example. So when you're playing music, you can also use a steering wheel control track up and also track down, up, down. Okay, go ahead and use that. The volume controls from the steering wheel controls do work. Okay, could hear it going up and down. Unfortunately, you do not see the indicator changing on the screen, but it is changing. Unfortunately, this talk switch will not work while you're in CarPlay mode. This is locked into the factory Lexus system. This will not work to summon Siri. Instead, you are just gonna have to press that button right there. The steering wheel controls do work as well. Let me go ahead and do an example. I'm gonna go ahead and call myself. So I'm getting a call from myself. If you wanna hang up, just go ahead and press that hang up button. All right, so CarPlay, if you have never used it before, depending on what applications you have installed on your phone will automatically display on the screen. Uh, for me personally, I have Waze, Spotify, and all these Google Maps and so forth. That's what it's showing. These apps that's gonna show up on the screen has to be compatible with CarPlay. So applications such as Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and so forth, it's not gonna show up on your CarPlay screen because Apple did not authorize those apps to show in CarPlay because they don't want you watching videos while driving. And at nighttime, the CarPlay device will also go into night mode. Let me go ahead and show you that. All right, so as you can see, it will go into night mode at nighttime. All right, guys, well, there's not much other things to explain about this CarPlay system. Many of you guys already used it before. If you haven't, you can also go on the official Apple CarPlay website to learn more about it. All right, so let me go ahead and also explain to you guys two things I need to remember when using our kit. This is not necessary, but this is something I recommend. When you first turn on the car, wait until the infotainment system loads fully before connecting your phone. If you connect it too early, something can happen. I'll tell you what it is. Not always, but it can. So go ahead and just wait until it fully loads. Once the screen is gone, you know that the infotainment system has fully loaded. And then you can go ahead and then connect it and then go to nav and load the CarPlay. If you do this, you won't run into this specific issue. 
But if you don't, say that you keep your phone connected before you turn on the vehicle, sometimes the sound may not come out when you're in the CarPlay mode in auxiliary. This is because when you first turn on the vehicle, the phone is syncing to the car's Bluetooth system and the output on the music sometimes goes to Bluetooth instead of this CarPlay. And when that happens, we're in auxiliary, we're trying to play music through auxiliary, it won't play because the phone is trying to play music through the factory Bluetooth system and not the auxiliary system. So let's see. So this is a good example. Okay, so we don't hear any sound. Okay, as you can see, the music is playing. And if you go back here in audio, the source is in aux. So what do you do when this happens? The easiest and the most quickest remedy is just unplug it and replug it back in. And whenever you do that, this CarPlay system will override whichever source that the music was locked into. And then now it has overridden to the CarPlay because it's the last detected device that is connected to the phone. So that's the first thing you want to remember. The second thing you want to remember is phone calls, okay? So there's one setting that you need to change on your phone. So you go to settings, you go to accessibility, and then go to touch, and go all the way down and call audio routing. It's going to be an automatic, that's default. You're going to change that Bluetooth headset. By doing this, whenever your phone is connected to any Bluetooth device, that Bluetooth device will take priority for all the phone calls. So when you make phone calls, when you receive phone calls, the phone will connect to the Bluetooth device. So that's what this function does. But recent iOS update, there's a little glitch on it. It doesn't always route to the Bluetooth. Instead, it will route to whatever other device that is connected to just randomly. So when that happens, you do have to switch the source to the car's Bluetooth manually if and when your call quality suffers because the call quality on the car's Bluetooth is always going to be the best compared to any aftermarket solutions and any aftermarket device that's connected. With our device, it's gonna catch a little bit more background noise and the sound might be a little bit more raspy than the factory Bluetooth system. So let me show you an example. If someone calls you, okay, I pick up and then say that some call quality or whatnot doesn't sound good, or they say that they can't hear me that well because of some background noise, I'm driving the freeway. And if I check my phone, I, you'll notice that it might not be in the car's Bluetooth. So you click on that speaker button and then you just pick your car, that's it. This is something that will fix itself eventually with an iOS update. Hopefully that'll be sooner than later. Um, so just this is something you want to remember and also the um, no sound issue if you don't hear any sound just do a quick replug just as long as you remember those two things of, while using our kit um, your experience using it is going to be pretty awesome so just keep that in mind all right guys one thing i almost forgot to do is show you a quick demonstration on our android auto system so i'm going to unplug the apple and then now i'm going to connect my android phone to it Okay, it's connected to Samsung S9 Plus. First time you connect it, it may ask you to go through some prompts. So it says Android Auto would like to do the following information. Just click continue. All right, now that's my Android Auto. Okay, our Android Auto interface is not as pretty as the CarPlay interface, but I mean, it still works. And here it is, if you have an Android phone, yeah, so it works very similar to the Apple CarPlay. The apps and so forth is gonna be a little bit different, but same concept, like Google Maps here. Okay, got some Pandora playing. Take me to Disneyland. Okay, handing off to Waze. Here are the search results for Disneyland Park 1313 Disneyland Drive, Anaheim, California 92802. All right guys, well that concludes our demonstration. We have a separate video showing the installation. If you have any additional question, leave a comment below or you can email us at info at bsonicusa.com. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so, that helps us with our algorithm and trying to get this word out about our product, that'd be really great. 
Also, if you could give us a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.